outside. It's week three. It's also really bright out here. We've had storms for days. Big one this morning. Um, the backyard was a lake. Um, so anyway, we had huge downpour again this morning, so it's gonna be really mucky and sluggy. I have all my boots. Ice cream truck. Anyway, week three. So much stuff is starting to like perk up, wake up, um, and get kind of big. So I haven't been out here actually today. We kind of, I think it's like two o'clock. We've been laying in bed watching movies <laughs> because we just felt like doing that. Okay, we're here. Things look wet. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Let's have a look at week three. Oh my gosh, a butterfly. How's that for a good start? Okay, so the catmint is still blooming. Awesome. I totally should have left Chloe in the house. Ugh. If she gets to be too much, I will put her up. Okay. So we have a butterfly. Fantastic on the Nepeta. Um, I did tie up, um, my Lord, words. Words are hard. Uh, Graham Thomas. I did tie him up just a little bit. So, um, there's one more I'm waiting, one more cane I'm waiting for it to get longer and then I can tie that one up too. My Plumeria pudica is really starting to leaf out and I think everything was just waiting on the heat. It is a lot warmer now. And um, even the coleus, it looks like it's perking up. Definitely the lantana, I'm seeing a little perk going on. And I planted some Dr. Witchies. Um, so, you know, some extra seedlings I had laying around in trays. That's a Cherokee purple tomato. I've got four of those. Oh, that sun is just beating on me. Oof. Um, white patty pan squash. So that's new. All those are new to this area. Um, the zinnias that I transplanted from the other bed. This one has gone banana pants. And look, there's going to be a bloom. And this is just since last week. So... I'm going to wait till after it blooms before I pinch it, but then I'm going to pinch it so that I get some of those side shoots and bushiness. But all of these are doing really good. The habanero peppers have really grown. Like the things that were just kind of sitting there staring at me doing nothing, they've really grown. Uh, eggplant's doing good. Chloe may have to go in the house. Um, jalapeno peppers are looking much larger. Very nice. Oh, and I have a surprise over on the um, Roselle hibiscus. Let me go over there. So the Roselle hibiscus has flowers. Better shot of the flowers. I had to come back out later when the sun wasn't so bright. That's the Roselle hibiscus. Gorgeous. All the flowers. And the sunflowers are doing great. Doing great. Let's have a look at all the sunflowers. They're doing awesome. They're getting really big, like really fast. Look at these. So these were all done the same day. Every single one of them the same day. Look at that mamma jamma right there. Look at that. I don't know if it's just getting the right amount of sun or if it's just a super seed. Just a super seed, I don't know. Oh. And <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> What is going on? So obviously something is eating. <laughs> oh, what's eating Gilbert grape? What is eating my grapes? Look at that. I don't know. Okay, so I'll have to look at that. And then look at this. Look at that sunflower. This is the Russian mammoth. That's crazy. That's going to be a big one. That is. Look at this. This is our uh, flat white boar um, squash, which is, well, it looks like a white pumpkin, but flat white boar, that is huge. These are doing so good. And then um, table queen acorn squash. This is also doing so much better. I think we just needed some heat. Oh, and I planted some tansy. So I have tansy there. Um, some tansy there. This, oh, I see some new growth. So this is no longer just staring at me doing nothing. This is the uh, Maid of Orleans Jasmine, so that's good. Um, 
Richmond green apple cucumber doing nicely. This is a, a moonflower and it looks like it's starting to vine a little bit. So this is a vine and it'll just kind of twine all the way up there. And that is another weed. That's a pretty good size one. Okay, back inside. <laughs> Ice cream truck is here. Okay, so covered all that. I did plant uh, my lemon balm. My shadow, oh my jeez, lemon balm. Sunflowers. Um, I did plant some, I think this is California Wonder. Um, I had two seedlings left. This looks like it's gonna be uprooted. We did have a good rain. I'll try to cover those roots back up there. It's like that. Um, a brassica of some sort fell out of a seed packet at some point because there it is. Very strange. Um, the cosmos, look how big those are getting. Those cosmos seedlings are doing excellent. So, I mean, it's the heat. It's just gotta be the heat. Um, and my peppers even, if you look down in there, we're gonna have flowers. So that is awesome. And I wish there wasn't a glare so I could see what you're seeing. I have no idea there. Okay. So this is the um, Lesia, Lesia pepper. Doing good, doing good. These right here are Cubanelles. And I'm not sure where the Lesia stops and the Cubanelles start. I mean, it'll be obvious once I have fruit, but right now I'm not sure. Uh, more zinnias. These are the giants of California. Doing pretty good. You know, I should have come out this morning when it was more overcast after the rain. Um, this is sweet banana. And I think we already have, I can't tell if that's a pepper or a flower that's just kind of droopy. I don't know, right there. Anyway, sweet banana doing well. The beans also, ooh, I see. We might get a bloom, a little pea bloom. Fantastic. These are the Borlato bush beans. And then here we have the rattlesnake pole beans. These are looking very yellow. They are looking nitrogen deficient maybe, but we are gonna get some flowers. I don't like the color of those, they are so yellow. Um, so I may go ahead and fertilize those. Um, and I have one key lime marigold. Right there. It was a seedling left in a tray, and I hope it makes it. Uh, my asparagus is flowering, so that's pretty cool. Little asparagus blooms, so fun. And those garlic chives are just sitting there staring at me. They're not doing much. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mystery solved from a wonderful new viewer to the channel. This grape in the pot is not Fredonia Blue because the pot was inside the other pot. Get it out. There. So, my Concord. Concord grape. Mystery solved. And it looks like I saw some little grapelets. So there we go. Fun as that. Okay. So, um, the Pattison Panache Frenchy French. This is doing okay, the color's better. The other one is completely died and disappeared. It's gone. So I think I'm gonna direct sow some seed there. Um, you know, these nasturtiums, this is a dwarf called um, Dwarf Alaska Mix or something. You know, and it's variegated and it's cute and everything. But I'm wondering if maybe these want shade because since I planted them out, they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and the leaves are getting tinier and tinier. It's blooming and everything, but it's like it doesn't wanna be here, like at all. So I don't know what's going on with that. All of the nasturtiums, this one, that one over there, this one over here, they're just shrinking, shrinking. I don't understand it. I don't know. Um, zinnias are doing great. These, um, the squashes, the squashes are doing much better. The color has improved. I did use the um, chicken manure, Espoma um, organic chicken manure. I put that at the base of each plant and I watered it in with some Medina has to grow. And look at all of my zucchinis and squashes. 
Look how big they are since last week. That's insane. That's like triple, tripled inside. I think last week, most of them look like that. This week, boom. And it looks like they're gonna make some little flowers in there. So that's awesome. Oh, so many that are gonna bloom soon. And I really want to spread them out, but I think I'm gonna leave them. I think squash vine boar may weed some out for me. And I can always direct sow in some of the blank spaces if I have some sickly ones that I end up getting rid of. That's my new plan that I just made up just now. <laughs> so these nasturtium flowers are so pretty, but the plant itself, it just keeps shrinking and shrinking. <laughs> and all my flowers are orange. It's supposed to be a mix, a colorful mix. All I'm getting is orange, which is fine. It's pretty. Um, giant cactus zinnias over there doing nicely. Um, these, I'm not sure what to do with these. Like, what do you do when they've grown too big to be of use as bunch onions? Do I just leave them? I don't know. I guess I'll leave them for right now. Um, and can we talk about these radishes? <laughs> oh my gosh, these radishes. They're doing amaze balls. I picked one the other day. Um, so you should, oh, hello. That is a garden muncher. I don't know what to do about him. Okay, we'll just, I'll worry about that in a minute. Um, but I picked one of these radish the other day and it was so freaking spicy. Oh my gosh, these white ones, whatever these are, I'm gonna pick it all the way, it's spicy. And I guess when they're ready, they start rising up like that. Cause see this one, there's nothing. So I'm assuming there's nothing underneath. And the beets are doing well. Um, I'll come back to toma uh, tomatoes in a minute. I just wanna look at all of these. Oh, that's looking promising right there. Okay, radish, fun. These zinnias are doing well. And then there's a giant one under that tomato. That's a giant zinnia. All from the same seed packet, all planted the same day. Look at that girl. She is laying in the bed with the blueberries. Bella, the bell. <laughs> oh, that dog. Anyway, um, giant red uh, mustard. Look at that. That's looking so pretty. All of them, so pretty. And the sweet alyssum that I direct seeded. It's coming up nice, coming up very nice. Oh my gosh, we have little flowers. You're seeing it here first. Look at that. Cuteness, cuteness. These are doing really well, really well. Okay. Oh, first my back squatting like that. More zinnias, doing pretty good. This is um, queen lime and then a uh, polar bear back there. Another nasturtium, more orange flowers. And it looks like one got pollinated because that's gonna make a seed pod. Cool beans. Speaking of beans, garden bean. And I can't tell, I'm gonna step in the bed. I know I'm not supposed to. Can't tell if we're getting any. I think we're gonna get some flowers. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. And then I planted my extra Roselle hibiscus seedling right here because none of the other beans came up around this trellis. I need to find something else to climb on this trellis though because it's there. So, planted some tansy here, back there. And then all, all of this, all of this here is 28 strawberries. It's supposed to be 30 because I had three packs, supposed to be 10 roots in a pack, but two were missing and I have not seen any growth yet, but it's only been like a week. So give it some time, give it some time, crossing all my fingers and toes, hopefully something. Um, and then I planted the Achillea um, and we've passed it along the way on the other parts of the bed over there. That's the white Achillea. Um, ooh, not back. Um, Cosmos, these are also doing really well. Um, and I have turned off the irrigation. We've had so much rain lately. Look, this barrel is almost full and it's just been sitting here. Um, that's how much rain we've gotten. That whole thing's filled up just from rainwater. Um, onions looking good. Zinnias back here looking good. These teddy bear sunflowers are a little slow. I need like a pointer stick, like right there. 
Those are the sunflowers. They're like really slow to come up. But they may get more shade being over here. We'll see. Onions, fine. This wildflower mix is looking all right. Um, I don't know what any of these flowers are, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, the Albamosus sagifolus. I'm thinking these flowers are gonna be red because the veining on the leaves is reddish pink. Um, these flowers here around this TP are starting to sprout a little bit. They're a little bit um, more vigorous now, which is good. Need to pull some weeds around that moonflower there. Another moonflower seed germinated because I don't think that one was there before. That's good. And the things over here, like this supposedly Brussels sprout, because I think that's what it is, is doing amazing. Although something has found it. I was like, hey, nothing's eating it. I don't need to spray. But something is definitely eating it now. So I'll get out my BT. Hmm. Where are you, though? Oh, where are you? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, it's doing great. It looks beautiful. And this kale. Oh, this kale is so happy that I rescued it from the other bed. It's doing wonderful. It's getting so bushy and big and full. And this nepeta, I think, has grown since last week. It's no longer staring at me. I don't think I put manure. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But I know I watered it with Medina has to grow. And that... Chloe, stop. That Medina is wonderful. So things look greener. It looks less yellow to me. You probably can't tell because of my shadow. Um, it looks less yellow, like it's starting to come back a little bit. Um, and then my butterfly, my blue butterfly pea, really starting to take off, along with the uh, birdhouse gourd, starting to take off. And this lantana is actually um, growing, like it's growing now, and this got some Medina. So I'm telling you, that Medina has to grow. It's some good stuff. Um, this plumeria, Pudica, I did have to take quite a bit off. I had some spongy, spongy stems that had died, but I think the rest are gonna be okay. This one's a little bit slower to leaf out. Um, and then my Pandora vine, looking good, right there. Um, even this, this is a white margin snow rose. Let me get on the other side of it. And it has really leafed out since last week. It's doing great. All right, now let me go uh, walk along the outside where I can get to some of the other other things better. And this, I don't like the looks of this at all. I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. The color's off and then something's eating it. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Black Mountain, what is this? Blacktail Mountain Watermelon. Seems to be struggling a bit. I don't know if it's getting too much shade or what. The color seems off on this too. So I think I'll be coming back out here with that bag of uh, uh, chick manure and Medina. And we're gonna treat a lot of things. Pretty sure that's a weed. Okay, this is my Waltham Butternut. It looks so much better. The color's better. That one I did fertilize last week. The color looks so much better. That's all it needed. It just needed some fertilizer. And there's my dill. And the dill in my other bed is doing great. I've been nibbling on it whenever I walk by and I'm pretty, pretty much 100% certain it's dill. So I'm gonna dig some more up and bring it over here. And this is that seedling that last week looked yellow. And I fertilized it as well. And it looks pretty good. I mean, it greened right up. All of these look so much better. Okay. Um, let's see. My tomatoes. Look at this Brad's Atomic Grape. Oh my gosh, I have a grape. Yes! This is my first grape. Everybody, my first grape of the year that I've seen. There it is, Brad's Atomic Grape. One, maybe I have more, I don't know. That's exciting. We have so many flowers. The flowering has really increased since last week. 
really increased. So the last two weeks have been wonderful. It looks like I have more fruit gonna form. Very nice. Let's see what this is. This is black from Tula. Nice flower. Don't see any fruit yet. Now this tomato here is a yellow pear and it's a beast and I need to tie it up. I meant to bring my little ties with me. I'll go back and get them later. This grape is going banana pants. Banana pants, but look at those grapes. I'm so excited. Oh, we have like real grapes right there, real grapes. This is Fredonia Blue. I have another yellow pear tomato back here that is also going banana pants and needs to be tied up like that. These, one are, these ones are a little bit slower on the back side, um, coming more towards this end. These ones are gonna be a little bit smaller. So, oh, I see a tomato. I think that's a yellow pear. Seems like I grew a whole lot of yellow pears. Anyway, tomatoes are doing great. And then this grape, see if anything's eating it. I don't think so. Just keep an eye on it. And there's my tansy doing great. I grew these from seed. It's like an herb of sorts, but I do need to direct sow out here. I've noticed with these herbs and with some of the smaller seeds, trying to sew them in trays didn't work out so good and I don't think I'm going to do that again I think I'm going to direct sew all my herbs um so this small Persian melon has I think last year last year last week it only had like one other true leaf like it had this week I don't know it just it went bananas it just went bananas all of them went bananas but especially that one and even the little ones went a little bananas so that's a small cantaloupe melon. This is the uh, muncher cucumber. This is doing really good. Everything's just taken off. Now, kooka melons are not doing so good. They really are just sitting there staring. They're not, they don't wanna do anything at all. I don't know if you can see that. I just don't wanna do anything. I may direct so. Um, maybe something happened with those seeds, but in three weeks, they really haven't changed much. So I may direct so. Uh, some new ones and then these are the white cucumber here these are doing great nice lots of growth these teddy bear sunflowers really aren't doing much of anything at all i don't know and then richmond green apple this one's really picked up really picked up so so before we look at the circle bed I'm gonna look at the tomatoes. This one, black cherry. Something is eating this one. If you look, put my foot in the bed. If you look, something is eating it, but I haven't found a worm because the plant's not that big. You would think I would see a giant like tomato hornworm. So it must be a smaller worm is eating it. I don't know, but something's definitely eating it. It's fine, I guess I can share. And this is black from Tula. I don't see any flowers. This one does, and I'm assuming this is also black from Tula. And then yellow pear here. Doing great. There's a little yellow pear tomato right there. Looking good, looking good. This is vintage wine. So we do have flowers. And we might have one that got pollinated. That could be a little tomato, soon to be. And then Super Sweet 100 again. And this one is Super Sweet 100 also. Okay. And then Black Crim. All right. Oh, and I planted some Cardinal Basil. And something is eating it. <laughs> Something is eating it. <sighs> Thought they were supposed to be free from pest damage because they repel them. Apparently that is not true. <clears throat> all right, let's go in the circle. Um, I'm assuming this artichoke is droopy because of all the 
torrential downpour and rain we had today. Uh, something is also eating it. And I did spray all these with neem and um, BT. Was it last week? I don't know. Anyway, this is getting gigantic and I love the new leaves. They're so silvery and pretty. Looks good. Russian sage also is looking good. This rose, St. Patrick is really taking off. The mum, this mum is just gonna swallow the whole bed. Both of the mums. Um, the Duranta golden edge is getting nice and full. This little mini rose is gonna have a, a bloom. A little bud there, cuteness. Uh, this yellow rose of unknown cultivar is also gonna bloom. So pretty. Got another bud there. So this will be the first spring flush for this one. And I always get nervous when I have this new growth that looks a little too feathery. Like I know red is common for a new growth on roses, but this one just looks a little bit ornate. <laughs> so I always get worried about rose rosette, but I'm sure it's fine. It's gonna be fine. And then this mum, these freaking flowers still have not opened and I hope it's not a pest issue. It's been like a week, man. Oh, they're so close, so close. All right, that's gonna be so pretty when it blooms again. And this yellow rose is blooming. These are old, but it's still coming on with some new ones. So beautiful. And look how pretty this rose looks with the golden edge Duranta. That is a nice combination that I didn't even do on purpose. Like it was totally just, these were extra plants that I had and I needed something to fill this bed. So these are all the extra things that were in pots and it goes together so nice. So another artichoke there that's not quite as large. Um, Russian sage here. This rose is still not doing well and something's eating it. That's a twofer. So um, I am gonna pull out, um, my iceberg rose because that's that's good and then this rose eternal flame something is eating the buds they are open and this rose is very fragrant it smells so good but it is getting some nibbles and some damage um, on the buds but it's doing really well besides being nibbled leaves and buds being nibbled uh, russian sage another artichoke this one is doing great. We did have just the one stem when I had the orange bloom. Now there is a second stem and a third. Excellent. And then this mini rose here is doing much better than its counterpart over there. This one's doing better. So there's hope. So anyway, I think that's everything. Um, I mean, everything's looking good. Looking good. All right.